I want to talk to you about spring. What a great time of year. In Chinese medicine, it is related to the wood element. And now the wood element has some very interesting characteristics like new growth, like abundance, vision, pioneering new trails, new paths. So if there's something that you want to start in your life, spring is a good time to do it. It brings forth this creative energy where we can solve problems, where we can elevate above what seemed to be stressful or weighing us down previously. And we can do it in a few different ways. One is really just understanding the time of year and the energy that's coming forth and utilizing it like riding a wave of energy that's around us into the desired destination. All right, let's talk a little bit more about spring and the wood element. So we have the wood element as a related element to, to spring. So spring and each, each season in Chinese medicine is related to a different element. So spring, wood element, and the wood element is related to, uh, the wood element is related to the liver and the gallbladder as paired organs. So liver, gallbladder, paired organs. And the wood element also rules over different systems. So we have like the nervous system, for example. Um, this would be the system that the wood element rules over. So it's important to balance the nervous system. As we know, too much stress is very harmful for your mind and your body. And so stress takes your nervous system from, let's say, relaxation, which would be parasympathetic, into sympathetic, which we call stress mode. Parasympathetic is called rest and digest, which we think of as relaxation mode. So when we can relax the nervous system, your body's going to activate healing. It's going to activate the inner healer within each of us. When we're stressed out, your body's saying, in essence, that we're in, in danger and that we need to allocate inner resources and energy to fight or flight. That's sympathetic mode. Parasympathetic is when we say, Oh, I'm relaxed. I can allocate energy to self-healing. This is why it's vitally important to get out of stress when we want to heal our bodies or prevent problems from arising. Also, the liver, gallbladder is related to the eyes. Emotionally, when we look at the emotions of the wood element, on the negative side, we're going to see stress, frustration, anger, and envy, jealousy, agitation, these are all liver related emotions. And so when we see ourselves getting stressed out, frustrated, angry, anybody familiar with any of these emotions? It's kind of a modern life epidemic. Everybody's got too much stress because we're frustrated with the way things are. If these escalate, it leads to anger. And so some of the solutions from a Chinese medicine perspective or the opposite because the wood element is associated with abundance. Abundance signifies that when we are out of stress, we can tune into abundance mentality and be more kind. Because there's plenty to go around, we're not so self-centric that we have to take for ourselves. This is a very good quality of the wood element. We can be kind, we can be giving, we can be in service, we can be generous. And the other one is creativity because creativity implies a new vision, using our imaginations to overcome life stresses, problems, challenges. And when we're creative, we rise above. We rise above. So for some people, the stress becomes overwhelming. For other people, they use stress as a challenge to rise above. The difference is, if you have more energy, you can take on life's challenges and stresses in creative ways. If we're depleted of energy, we're going to be overwhelmed. So one of the goals of our practice, increase qi, which means life force energy. And that way we have abundance of energy to overcome life's challenging circumstances. All right, so how do we increase energy? Very simply, we do some Qigong. We do Qigong practice. Now, Qigong is going to be a great way to boost 
your energy in your body. So let me turn off this whiteboard and we're going to do a little bit of Qigong practice and get some energy moving and circulating. Let's start off with an exercise. This is great for the liver and the gallbladder. It's a cultivation of resiliency. It is called Swimming Dragon. And as you can see, I've taken a stance that's wider than my shoulders. Liver and gallbladder, uh, the meridian lines are both through the rib cage in this area of the body. The liver is on your right side of your body, liver, gallbladder on your right side of your rib cage. And what we're gonna do is take the palms together like this. And go ahead and take a nice deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Palms touch, sink your chest back. And take a nice deep breath. Inhale. This is called heart to the sky. And we're just going to take in life's positive energy, shift our perspective, expand our horizons. Palms touch, sink the chest. Inhale. Exhale, palms touch, bend your knees. And let's go into a swimming dragon movement. You're going to take your hands and press them to your right side like that. Shift your weight to your right side and try to straighten this inner arm. And be careful not to lean too far. Try to stay kind of upright through the spine and press. And what you're going to feel is some nice action through the ribs and through your spine. Shift the weight over to the left. Press the palms left. And now try this. Turn your head right and really help feel how that rings out tension in your upper back. Press the hands left. Turn your head in the opposite direction. Press the hands one way, turn the head in the opposite direction. And then we're just gonna shift the weight back and forth. Work the energy through the body. Nice and slow. Swimming dragon, the cultivation of strength, flexibility, and resiliency. We just go back and forth, working that energy through the body. And we'll come back to the center. Walk your feet in. And after we've warmed things up and stretched things out, let's go into a nice flow for the wood element and for the liver gallbladder meridian lines. Arms are round. This is called tree sways in the wind. Turn to your right side and now inhale, float your arms all the way up to the top of the head. Come back to your center, midline. Exhale, arms go out to the sides. So arms are nice and round and turn. Inhale, float the arms up. Come back to the center, exhale, float the arms out to the sides. Now remember what we said, creativity. Let's bring creative energy up through and into the mind. Clear mental stress, arms go out and down. Turn, gather some energy, creativity, clear mind. Open our imagination to possibilities. And you can see that we're doing these exercises nice and slow. The slowness creates a moving meditation where we cultivate the kind of energy, the quality of energy that we want to be tapped into. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, float the arms out to the sides. Turn. Inhale, float the arms up. Center, exhale, float the arms out to the sides. Again, nice deep breath. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Again, deep breath. Float the arms out to the sides. Let's do it one more time to each side. Get 
tapped in. Connect to source energy. Breathe it through your meridians. Let it express itself as creativity and abundance. And bring that all back to your center. Hands here at your belly. Take a nice, slow, deep breath. And relax. Very good. Hope you enjoyed that. And happy spring.